Governor Little announced his plan a week ago, and despite busy planning, many businesses are excited to reopen. And people have come together in tough times like this is, so we look forward to seeing them, and uh, I think things are going to go very smoothly and safe. Local business owner Tom Ashenbrenner of Rudy's, a cook's paradise, has been waiting for the moment his doors could open again. Yet, day-to-day -day operations are going to have to be a lot different than before the pandemic. So we're relying on our business community and the citizens of Twin Falls just to be responsible and to you know, respect, uh, I guess, the care for the public health as, as best they can. Few businesses are allowed to reopen right now, mainly local retailers, churches, and daycares. They will need to abide by protocols prompted by the state to keep everything clean and safe. The city will do its best to remain vigilant to ensure everyone is doing their part. We encourage the public, if they have concerns, to call us. Uh, we want to we want to send an officer out. Uh, we'll get some you know, feedback from our city attorney and others who are you know, monitoring this as well. Rudy's hopes to lead by example by practicing social distancing, limiting the amount of people that can enter, and safe hygiene. Um, we'll have sanitation stations uh, throughout and at the door. For phase two of the governor's plan, businesses that fall under this category will have to send in a plan to the city or the health department to make sure it is okay. The start date for phase two of the plan is set to begin on May 16th. For Idaho News 6, I'm Alex Grant.